No, I went in, I joined the Navy, went to Great Lakes as everybody did, and uh, was there for 60 days. And uh, three days later, I was in California and uh, on a trip, troop ship shipped out to the South Pacific. We pulled into uh, Guadalcanal to rescue some Aussie engineers. That was before they had to fight there and land it, so that they knew how deep the water was and all that stuff. And we ended up taking 51 people aboard. There were some nuns, I think there was 28 babies, four or five mothers, mm -hmm. and the captain said, we'll take them all aboard. The USS Princeton got hit by a, dive bo a Japanese dive bomber, and it was on fire, and uh, we went alongside and put men on board the Princeton to fight the fire. And unfortunately, the Princeton exploded and strafed our whole starboard side with, a, with about 600 deaths out of our crew. I'm more proud of the fact that I served in the 3rd Regiment. As you know, that's George Washington's regiment. And they have all the guards for the president and all the officiating in Washington is the 3rd Regiment. It's the oldest regiment in the United States Army. I went behind the lines. And I got driving, I was early morning, I was falling asleep, and I said, we don't have green uniforms. So I turned around and come back, flying back, beat hell. And I got, they saw, I counted 17 bullet holes in the back of my truck when, they, when I got back safe. And going through the minefield is an experience, and we just got used to the zigzag pattern and watching every once in a while you hear a thump, and you know another one of the 300 to 500 in the convoy got hit with the mine, and you see another thump and then a little cloud of smoke. I think our next invasion was Saipan. And that was an invasion I'll never forget. I saw many dogfights. I saw one of our planes get shot down. A pilot bailed out of the plane. A Japanese Zero, which was a, Jap a Japanese fighter, came through and strafed that pilot and killed him when he was coming down in a parachute. And I, I still believe that the pilot in the Zero behind that Zero shot that Zero out of the air for killing our pilot while he was in a parachute. I was assigned to Coastal Patrol out of Beaufort, South Carolina. And I never got out of the United States to do anything. But we were there to keep the subs from coming up to the coast. We couldn't put down the, uh, the one landing gear and uh, the captain, uh, the pilot said, uh, open the bomb bay. We'd already dropped our bombs and, and we were in there and straddled that and tried to get the the wheel down. You had a crank inside. You cranked and cranked, but we never did get it down. So we came in and belly up. And uh, the North Atlantic was quite rough. Water, water would get down the smokestack sometimes and put the fire out in the boilers. <laughs> <coughs> so from that and into the Atlantic in the winter time was nice, like it is in Florida. It was 90 degrees over there. The only thing you had to watch out was for these guys that was looking for you. <laughs> oh, I think it's great. I, 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 the only thing that'll make me miss it if I die before we go. A friend of mine was going with me. He wanted to go because I was going. He'd been in the Navy 21 years. He had medals up to here, you know, and he just died.